minimal by design, the CloudBook has two USB ports, only one is USB 3.0, an HDMI port, and a headphone jack. Its exterior has a dimpled texture, similar to a golf ball, that covers the screen lid, which gives the system a nice tactile feel when carrying it around. Meanwhile, the matte screen is good for using the computer in sunlight, but the picture starts washing out when it's tilted too far forward or back. Combined with the unsurprisingly weak downward firing speakers, with a volume that changes depending on surface the laptop is sitting on, the CloudBook isn't a greatest option for watching streaming video. The small laptop also has very small keys, and deaf keys in particular feel microscopic. I wouldn't rely on the CloudBook for long computing sessions, but found that it works best for writing quick emails, browsing the web and writing short documents before tucking it away again. Its relatively large touchpad recognizes gestures like pinch and zoom, which sort of helps make up for the fact that it doesn't have a touch screen, but not by much. Then there's the matter of its low resolution webcam, making it less than ideal for video conferencing. Generally speaking, if you're looking for a no frills, low cost, notebook that relies on the cloud to do almost all the heavy lifting for apps, then this is it. Despite its heavy reliance on the cloud, as its name indicates, there's no practical difference between using a CloudBook or any other Windows 10 laptop. There's a full desktop environment, the Digital Assistant Cortana and Microsoft Edge. You're encouraged to stay within the Microsoft ecosystem for productivity and entertainment, but you're not limited to first-party apps. Unlike Chromebooks, which requires you to use Chrome OS, the Chrome browser and its apps, you have the full power and versatility of Windows 10. That means you're not necessarily...